Well, well, well! It's been a hot second, hasn't it, wenches and gentlemen? <laughs> Finally, Alex has decided to let me return! After being hidden away for so long, there is only one way to re-enter the fray. <laughs> it is I who is he, Lord Bear, the Alpha and Omega, smasher of silly, girly-headed, moob-toting crybabies like Jason, aka Rev News, slayer of the great white whale that is Shani for Christ, purger of rancid Punani like Chantal, alleviator of ALR, the bearer <laughs> of the mighty wooden spoon that defeated Amy's life journey to nowhere, except selling crap on Epsi these days, the champion who stood against the many, many fatty boom booms over the years, and the owner of the secret social media account, Panty Smasher 69. <laughs> I have returned, and my word, it's so good to see you, filthy, disgusting, poor peasants. <laughs> and you there, wench, with the big lady parts. My kitchen is bare. <laughs> Get it? And I believe that your place is in there, especially you with the heavy set chest. Chop, chop, pork chop. <laughs> and now bask in thine glory, you animals. It's time. Time we focus the great eye of Lord Bear upon the weak and dip their faces in some hot and soapy water to only use them to scrub the suspect stains that adorn their walls. Welcome to the antithesis of man. And our first target for mocking will be none other than Jason. Revelation News, aka Shani's pet Yappy Ratty, and in need of a good scrubbing partner. You see, ladies and gents, if you ever watched Alex on Twitch, who streams at twitch.tv forward slash irate Alex every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday from 8 p.m. GMT, 3 p.m. Eastern, link in the description, you would have noticed he has somewhat of a dislike for Jason here. I mean, Jason has given us all multiple reasons to dislike him, but he is, as Alex would describe, as the antithesis of man. In other words, he's a weak, pathetic, lying beta with unearned ego and probably smells like a combination of trash, rotting food, sadness, and vagicil. Now in recent weeks and months, your boy, girly face, big moob energy Jason, has been playing Shani's game of pretending to have every autoimmune disease known to man, e-begging, and just general shanny shitbaggery. And don't get me wrong, ladies and gents, it's been bloody hilarious. <laughs> the most recent of these silly sausage shenanigans was of course Shanny and Rev trying to scam the YouTube community by stating that they had their home broken into and had their apartment and vehicle fob stolen. Because that makes total sense, doesn't it? Not because a burglar just wouldn't steal keys to a vehicle and not actually the vehicle itself, oh no. But because any burglar who was unfortunate enough to wander into the absolute trash heap that is the Shani sty, in other words their apartment is laced with trash and probably stinks to high heaven of booze, ziganja, poo and Jason's movie milk. Can you imagine being the poor burglar in that particular circumstance, can you? Anyone entering will need some sort of chemical biological suit with some serious immunizations prior to entry. Well, anyway, I believe we should digress. Now, before we watch some of this quote-unquote content, it is worth me stating that at no point, mostly thanks to Mooby Dick over there, should you expect any kind of structure to this video. Seriously, his channel's like a bloody fever dream. But all right, all right. Let's watch, shall we? Howdy, folks. How you doing? It's your friendly, reverend individual. But right now, my name is... <coughs> <laughs> 
My name is Jason Avocados. I'm a mukbanger here on YouTube's. And I wanted to say hi. Holy high in a handbasket. Good grief, man. Jason, Igrof, Revelation Jason. Is there nothing that you won't do to shill things? Shill terrible t-shirts on your awful mukbang channel. That's right, ladies and gents, if you weren't aware, Jason over there not only has the Revelation Jason channel, but he also has a mukbang channel where he sits there slurping and guzzling. It's, it's absolutely frigging horrendous. Imagine a really, really fat Yorkshire Terrier eating curdled milk. And that would pretty much summarize the Jason Avocado channel. And here he is, high off his nuts, trying to shield t-shirts. Let's continue. My beautiful wife. So that's the video that this comes from. And she was like, I would really like my face on a shirt. Do you have any idea, any idea how bloody tempted I am to buy that god-awful t-shirt for Alex? <laughs> Could you imagine his face as he opens up a package and sees Shani's god-awful face on it? <laughs> Someone really needs to tell Jason that beauty is subjective, but in this particular circumstance, there's a level of objectivity about it, isn't it? There would be a level of endearing quality about Jason, wouldn't there, trying to shill the worst merch humanly possible, if he wasn't just a complete abomination of a human being, or oh, sorry, human being, because jeez elude these two idiots. <coughs> yeah, it's what you think it is, it's Jason Avocado shirt, folks. <laughs> so if you want some avocados in your life, get yourself a Jason Avocado shirt. I'm a new up-and-coming muckbanger, folks. Okay? That's what I do here. I really hope that you enjoyed this wonderful infomercial brought to you by Jason Avocados. Have a fantastic night, folks. Go to revelationnews.net and get the merch. I love you. It is worth me pointing out that at no point, neither myself nor Alex edited any of that. That is just Jason tripping balls as he sits there trying to shield the worst merch on planet Earth, quite possibly even the universe. Can you imagine Jason as he filmed all that, just straight up not even watching the video back? Or imagine if he even did sit there watching as he sits there gritting his teeth. It's of quite clearly more than just a ganja with these two, I swear to Christ. Shani, for Christ, in fact. Imagine uploading that, thinking, yeah, that'll do. People will buy our crap, won't they? Although when you think about it, it is almost actually genius when you... Because I would buy that for Alex, and he would be horrified. <laughs> we shall call them punishment presents. Now, the next video we're going to move on to is a video response from Twitter that your boy Jason made to Alex a little while ago, threatening him with Interpol. <laughs> Let's watch. What an honor it is to be on such a loser's fucking Twitter. How you doing, irate Alex? Last time I talked to you, you were being real nice to Shani and stuff. Yeah, I remember. You remember coming in her stream yard and being such a gentlemanly uh, Englishman? Yeah, yeah. How you doing, buddy? So you think it's okay to call people like a toothless hillbilly or something? You're going to make fun of negs, huh? You're no better than anybody else, dude. And you're worse than most because you try to virtue signal all this stuff. Dude, If you're smart, you'll stop with all this stuff because people are starting to get in trouble in the, in the States. And Interpol don't take kindly to stuff like this either. You're harassing people. Do you get it? You're harassing people. Say hi to Interpol. Alex wanted me to pass on that, yes, he remembers coming on to the stream yard with Shani, and she was ever so pleasant. Then, the day after, 
Might I remind you, she proceeded to call Alex a sexual offender. So, yes, we do remember. And no, Interpol is not coming for me. It's not coming for Alex. It's not coming for anybody. I think Interpol are bigger problems than people on the internet making drama videos. <laughs> you ridiculous, silly little man bitch, you. Also, I find it very interesting that a so-called man such as yourself had the audacity to sit there and call anybody, especially Alex, a loser. When you are a person who has managed to live off his mother's inheritance for quite some time and is now run dry, completely run dry after letting their fat wives spend all of the money on absolute garbage and is now e-begging. Who's the loser now, Jason? <laughs> Oh, that silly little Billy Goat's gruff on your face is ridiculous, man. Now let's, of course, move on to the whole scamming debacle and the ridiculous lies that Jason tells here. Whenever you hear about somebody on the internet and, and they're accused of scamming, that's a very serious offense. So that's what you see now. That's what you hear constantly about me and Shani now. And... The only thing that I can tell you as a Christian, because this means something to me. He's a Christian, folks. He would never lie to any of us because he's a Christian, isn't he? <laughs> Despite the fact that they themselves managed to debunk their own lie by stating that they had indeed found the key fobs that had allegedly been stolen from a burglar. And that Shani would never ever lie about possibly anything, would she? Despite constantly making up autoimmune diseases that she hasn't even been diagnosed for. Remember, she didn't mention MS until Alex said he had MS. I am not to lie as a Christian. It is not something you do. But you're not a real Christian according to that. Well, okay, that's fine, but that's what I live by. So they can call me a liar about that too, okay? The only thing you could accuse me really of lying to you about deliberately is the is the Japan thing, and that you know. It wasn't even really a lie. I mean, not really. It was more trolling than anything. To but but to sort of make you not know where we are, and I don't want you knowing where we are because you don't deserve. You get us robbed. You get us robbed. You get. Oh my God! I mean. Right. So one, it's okay to lie if you're trolling, and two we managed to get them robbed, even though that they were not robbed at all. You know, I do wonder if it is at all possible that these two morons actually genuinely think that they aren't lying because they are just so high on the fumes of the garbage heap that they live in that they have completely managed to escape reality altogether. That or the Vagisil has finally made its way into Jason's brain. And how many things could we talk about? You get us robbed and all this shit. But uh, I want you to know that w Shani and I are legit, man. We help people. And how exactly do you help people, Jason and Shani? By slandering them on the internet? By making up lie after lie about other people, eh? By making constant racist comments towards people like drag? trying to defame him? Or how about the constant threatening of trying to sue people, eh? That you still haven't actually done? Or how about making false nonce accusations? False sexual offender accusations? Nonce defender accusations? Yeah, that sounds like helping people, doesn't it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You think that you can buy people's loyalty with super chat money? <laughs> Oh, good lord. You think you could buy people's friendship? Alex and I have had quite enough of people in the last year that think friends owe, Jason. We see you, we see through your BS. And that green haze emanating from betwixt your armpits. And, and I just want to make people know that, yeah, I could go back in my bank account and point out to you all of these transactions, of some of which were in the, in the thousands of dollars to individuals, me helping them, independent of Shani. Then Shani came into my life and she's even more charitable than I am. There's quite a big difference between being charitable and giving to actual charity and helping people out versus you super chatting anybody that would speak on your behalf. Money can't buy me love. 
No, money can't buy you love, nor can it buy you loyalty or friendship, Rev. The sooner you learn this, the better. Uh, but I will tell you what money can buy. Garbage bags to fill up, to clean your home with. A vacuum cleaner that you can hoover the floors with. Wipes, soap, to clean your bloody ridiculous greasy face. And a pressure washer for Shani. I have a car payment of $1,500 a month, which I can't make anymore, and then I'm going to have to take the car back very soon. Uh, uh, we, we have electric bill. We have a cell phone bill that's $350. But I could go down the uh, list and show you all the money I donated to people. Jenny, we donated money, and we think that's an investment, so people should now donate to us because we aren't actually adults and don't know how to handle money correctly. These are basic things, ladies and gentlemen. You would think that two grown-ass adults, parents no doubt, would know how to spend money. Income versus expenditure. It's not difficult. But that's what you get for spending thousands and thousands and thousands on crap from Amazon and celebrity endorsements. Yeah, but you and like you guys expect not to be upset over being robbed. Have you guys ever been robbed before? Do you know how scary and violated that feels? That's very violated. But then you say it didn't happen. Like, what proof do you provide that it didn't happen? Well, there's police reports, so... Yeah, there's police reports. A police report is not proof that you were robbed. Until the police actually come back and say, yes, you were robbed and you had your key fob stolen and somebody's an actual suspect, then we might believe you. Of course, we would believe you if you hadn't already debunked yourselves by saying you'd found the key fobs already. These two are morons. They really are. Is it possible for all that fat to go to your brain? But ladies and gents, we've come to the final two clips. The whole reason why we're here right now. And of course, that would be Jason. E-begging. Starting a live stream for the sole purpose of asking for money. What for, you might ask? Payments on his Durango? Rent? Food? No. Cigarettes. No, I'm not joking, ladies and gents. Let's take a look, shall we? Hey, folks, it's your uh, friendly reverend dude individual uh, with that Revelation News Organization. And, uh, well, I'm kind of in need right at this particular moment because uh, what, what I am is... Uh, I'm a chain smoker. So my problem is, is now I have no I have no income right now. Um and people keep saying get a job. Well, it's kind of hard in COVID getting a job right now. Uh I live in an area that like it's wall to wall uh old folks and younger folks that you know they take up the jobs pretty quick. In the area I'm at. Jason doesn't like it that people are telling him to get a job. <laughs> Can you imagine becoming a content creator and starting a live stream specifically to ask for money? Not for food, not for rent, not for clothes that the children desperately need, but for bloody cigarettes, man. Can somebody please make a donation for Revelation Jason so that he actually may buy a toothbrush and toothbrush? Pace, please, because he's in desperate need of it, I think. That and a hairbrush. And a different vest, I think. Could you cash at me eight bucks? All I need is eight dollars, is to get a pack of cigarettes. Just eight bucks. Just eight dollars a day. Con <laughs> Just eight dollars a day for this poor, poor loser cretin of a human being so that he can buy cigarettes, ladies and gents. If you donate today, you can adopt a Jason. And by adopting a Jason, it means that he will not kill Shani, because nicotine stops people from killing others. So I guess you can continue recording after this bullshit. I don't know. I don't know if that just destroyed my video. I started over again, probably did, because what a piece of shit phone I have. So if all of that video's gone, I have to start over again. So, uh, yeah, this- Can you say, discount Columbine? Good God, Jason, man. Do you not have any shame about yourself? Could you at least get dressed before going out in your vehicle to buy cheap cigarettes? Good Lord, man. 
I feel like I'm about to be accosted for wearing trousers. Line up, ladies. Look at this hunk of chunkin' loving man for you. <laughs> Jules tells all I want to thank you for the money that, that you sent because uh, you're a compassionate individual. When I make a video about needing eight bucks for a pack of fucking cigarettes, I, and when I've helped the community out and everybody knows I've helped people. Oh, Jules, what did you do? You didn't give him money, did you, Fat Yoshi? Oh no, Jules, don't give him cigarettes, it just gives him more ammo to speak. I'd prefer to sit there and watch him cry as nobody gives him anything. Well, I suppose we all feel sorry for something in our lives. We don't like seeing poor defenseless puppies left on the street corner, do we? I totally understand it, Jules, but he won't be getting any money from me. <laughs> Oh. But ladies and gentlemen, that's quite enough of this ridiculous chap. What are your thoughts? Am I at all wrong? Of course I'm not wrong. I'm Lord Bear, the Alpha and Omega. And much like Alex, I'm always right. Always right. And instead of donating money to this poor, pathetic individual's cash app, how about you donate today to the Irate Alex is Always Right Fund? Donating a dollar not only makes you more cool, but it makes you more handsome and intelligent, and it just makes you a better person overall. Objectively, of course. <laughs> ah. But thank you guys for watching, I certainly appreciate it. But it may have been a while, but the stench of peasantry is now firmly stuck back in here. So get out! Get out of my house! And drop a like on the video before you leave. And subscribe! And I shall see you guys next time. Cheerio!